So here we are practicing just a, a spinning lapel. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, a sleeve. This is a, a throw with a long grip or an extended grip. And you can see the left hand is grabbed. He spins under, grabs the leg with the right hand, and spins over, okay? And it's just a, 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 a turning. Um, what's called a mawari or a turning. And there you have it. Okay. And actually, this is again. You know, the thing thing we 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 see this as a new movement today, and it's just competitive judo or sambo. But if you go back to some of the old timers, I think if I'm not mistaken, going back to it's called hinari. Nagi, or twisting or turning throw. Hineri is to twist around, as you see, almost a 180 as Derek's doing here. And he grabs. And you don't want to dive with your head so much as you want to do more of a shoulder roll. Okay. It's just like just like a judo shoulder roll. Come under. He's a big boy. Dan weighs about 290. Yeah, knee drop. Yeah, knee drop. There you. There you have to roll him. That would yeah, be a tie really. on that one. Yeah, really. <laughs> I was just wondering if it was going to be easier. Hey, guys, let's set that up. So, so Eric, you're grabbing Derek's with the left arm, and you spin under, spin to your left, keep spinning all the way around, grab, and roll over, okay? Now, some people do that without grabbing the leg, as we discussed earlier, and maybe that's legal for maybe IJF-style tournaments, but I like the leg grab better. And you, you almost grabbed his hip, didn't you, behind yeah. him? Yeah, which is totally okay uh, because those work. But it's kind of a, re a reverse spin. Come under, grab, and spin over like that. And I'll let the guys keep training as we, we talk through it. So lead off, grab, spin under. And again, this is where having a nice, good rolling movement like a, 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 like a judo break ball, uh, break fall. A zimpo kaiten like in judo, the, the front rolling fall. That front rolling action is, is essential in doing this. So, he's going to come, come backwards. Come spin, round, turn. And you can see. And it's just a twisting throw. And we've seen this uh, in some recent years in competitive judo on the international level. Certainly have seen this in Sambo before. And the reason we do this in Sambo uh, when we do this is because we, we have no pants to grab, so we grab the leg. And Derek's been grabbing up around the waist a little higher. He tends to land on his head a little too much, Derek, when you do that. Just just kind of roll roll over your side more, actually more side. Street scenario, that would have been quite effective. Yeah, and in a street fight, that would have he would have been down. And you can see that nice rolling action there. So basically when the guys are doing this, they're, they're using their left hand to grab a very low sleeve grip, spin under all the way with their right hand, grab at the leg, at the, just above the knee, and roll them all the way over. I'm trying to keep up with them. I'll get a broader view here so you can see maybe a little better. So he spins under, he grabs, there you catch, see the rolling action. I'm going to get a back view of the guys. So. You can see where they grab the leg when they come around. See how he grabs that leg there as he spins, spins all the way through. And this has gone by a number of different names through the years. I, I know the old timers in judo. Uh, I, I don't know if it was called, uh, I think it was for some time, uh, Hineri, which means to twist, twist in the ground or to twist. Uh, Hineri Nagi, you know, twisting throw. Um, it might have been a uh, Hikomi Gaishi at one time called it. Different people call it different names. That's all. That's all I'm trying to say here. So it's gone by a number of different names. Call it what you want. Just call it Ipon, like they say. And uh, it's, it's a good move. But again, here's here's a case where we want to get a low sleeve grip, do a complete turn, get a complete turn, catch the leg, keep spinning all the way over. That was done very well. So you can see there we have a uh, the spinning throw, kind of a reverse, reverse spinning throw. Practice. He grabbed a little. See how each guy is doing a little bit differently. Uh, Eric, you tend to grab lower on the leg, which is my, my preference, but Derek tends to grab a little higher on the hip. But again, Eric, you're built like me. You have long arms. I didn't get under the hips that. And that oh, that looks.
look like it. Now, now you see why we use crash pads, everybody. <clears throat> Can you imagine landing on a regular tatami that way? That would have hurt bad. That's why they invented brake falls. Just a few more, then we'll uh, stop here. So you grab there, turn over. Very nice. There you go. So for the, for I, I think just for a nomenclature here tonight, um, it, we've really never given this name a th uh, uh, this throw a name. So let's just uh, call it the Hineri or twisting throw, Hineri Nagi. Anytime you twist your opponent and move them about, and you swing them through the air, a, 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 in, in a um, Mawari or, or, or wrapping motion. So we call it that. So there you have it. That's the practice tonight with uh, that particular throw. Good.